did Leo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're a Texan now. <laughs> Welcome back to uh, Parents of the Dead. Parents of the Dead episode two. Yeah, it's the very second episode. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and we will do uh, some closure script yeah. today. Yeah. Um, let's have a look at our depth.eden because it already has closure script. Is that enough? It's not enough. We'll need some uh, developer tooling as well, and maybe also a library or two for the front end. Yeah. So we are going to use, well, we're going to use Dum Dum. Yeah. I can tell you what that is. Mm -hmm. Most people probably don't know. That's true. So it's just yet another one of those can't believe it's not React style frameworks. Except there's actually no React there at all. No. So it's um, it's a component library. Uh, it's based around the JavaScript library Snubdoom, mm -hmm. and it is uh, it's very strictly just a rendering library. Mm. There's no component local state. There's no basically nothing. You can write hiccup, and it will do virtual DOM updates for you. Yeah, and that's about it. Yeah, we'll show them. We'll show them. It's also we'll very. Them. It also. <laughs> <laughs> Dim Dom loves data, so it has lots of features to help you uh, have as little non-data stuff in your front end as possible. Exactly. Also, we're going to need Fig Wheel. Yeah, of course, for hot reloading and yeah, that good stuff. Mm -hmm. And that's about it for now, I guess. Uh, maybe we can include the gadget inspector. Maybe. Yeah. Sure. We can just. You can do that. Um, so that's another piece of it. It's basically a, a dev tools panel that allows you to look at closure script data. Yeah, we, we're not going to use that today, I think. But let's just yeah. get it in here. Okay. So there's some other stuff that I also always copy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And one of those is dev CLJS Eden. Yeah. I think I'm just going to copy it straight over. You can take a look at it. Um, so this is the figure, or this is a closure script compiler options. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. There's not a lot to say about this. And then you also want to co uh, copy figwell main, which mm -hmm. is uh, figwell's config file. Yeah, and this is already excellent. We yeah. don't want it to open any URLs. We want it to watch source and dev. And here are the CSS. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Perfecto. Perfecto manto. And then uh, uh, head over to our dev namespace, and we can add a function to kickstart the closure script mm -hmm. uh, stuff. So we are going to do dev and then undead, obviously. Yeah. And then there's a dev.cljs here. Mm -hmm. And we can do maybe just print line, hello world. Hello zombies. <laughs> yeah. Is that okay? It's okay. Uh, you might want to uh, stick some metadata on the namespace so Figwell will reload it every time it recompiles. Yeah, sure, we can do that now. No, that's okay. So it's a fig wheel hooks. Mm -hmm. And well, we don't have any function. We can do like a um, render function. Maybe? Yeah. So it's after load. <laughs> Feeder <Fatal> load. Father <laughs> load. <laughs> that it's did not Dracula. sound nice. Didn't sound nice at all. It still says father load. <laughs> really? <laughs> it's after. After yeah. load. Okay, so I, the rendering now is in like console. Console log can, yeah. world. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Perfect. This is all very good. And that's all we need for now. And then you need to go into our closure dev file so we yeah. can kickstart the actual REPL. That's true. We also have to restart the REPL again. So let's go to dev, dev. And here we are going to want like something to start the closure script like this. Mm -hmm. And this part I do not remember. So I'm going to paste it in from somewhere else. One second. Okay, here Boom. it is. Fig wheel main and fig wheel main API. Yeah. Something like this. There's another another one of those snippets that you don't really add all that often. That's true. So now you it failed because fig wheel main was not on the class path. That's so you true. had to restart the REPL. And it's still it's not on your class path. Still not on my class path. Why not? Uh, Excuse me, sir. Are you sure you're a programmer? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I didn't uh, reload this one. Let's try again. 
Does it say dev? Yes, it says a dev. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it, there is at least a dev here. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the machine. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, yeah, now it works. It works, yeah. Okay, perfect. So we can start our oh, NS dev. We can start our system and we can create like a sibling connection and do CLJS. Okay, configuration error. I mm -hmm. love these. And that's because the directory should there, contain. Yeah, there are no source files. Yes, that's true. So let's do that. Let's create some client and the main CLJS. Yeah, that's fine. Um, and this one will say hello for main from <laughs> main. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. And now. So you can go here and type, but you also have a very useful comment block in your dev namespace. That's true. Okay, so last time we didn't have an app.js. So let's see if we have one now. <gasps> wow. Oh my God, okay. session name Vanita. Mm -hmm. But I'd... your prints are missing. My prints are missing. And why is that? Can I like do print line hello from the REPL? And it says hello. You can. Mm -hmm. So why didn't it? print line my hello from main because it isn't required it's not loaded but uh, what about the dev <coughs> namespace mm -hmm. and that's just a function and it didn't reload it's just on reload uh -huh. i think so maybe so if you touch it yeah should should <laughs> touch should, it inappropriately and then it's going to print something or appropriate or appropriately, appropriately yeah. with consent with consent mm -hmm. of course yeah, okay. nice. yeah hello, hello zombies, zombies. and then we will actually require uh, the main namespace over here, mm -hmm. if I am able to type at all, uh, as main. As main. So now, hello from main. Hello from main. Exactly. Okay, this is this is uh, obviously great. Yeah. Uh, um, <clears throat> let's see. Where do we go from here? We uh, need to. Uh, we're going to render something with dum dum. Oh, yeah. Let's render the skyline. Yeah, that would be good. That would be pretty cool. Uh, you can type a bit. Yeah, sure. So to do this, I will first bring up my little cheat sheet, which is the... Um, Dom structure. Hit the wrong combo. Dom structure. Where are you? Wow. Oh, it's not here. Oh, it's in the cheats. We didn't it's copy in, it over. It's in the cheats. So one step up and cheats. There it is. Okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, these are uh, class names. Mm -hmm. So uh, we'll have. Um, Let's create a render function here. Yeah. Yeah, I'll require dum dum core mm -hmm. as d. Okay. And then defin um, render. Uh, render, which will for now not receive any data. Mm -hmm. And it's going to do d render, and then it takes a. Component. component and an element. Mm -hmm. And if we look at our, oh, oh no. Uh, it's called div id main. Mm. Okay, so js document, so, something, something. <laughs> <laughs> Documentation, document, get element by id main, that's the element. And yeah, try the, evaluating that. Uh, yeah, I can evaluate this, mm -hmm. of course. So there there's the development. Mm -hmm. And then what is being rendered? What is our component? Um, it could be uh, the page. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Which receives some data mm -hmm. eventually. And then there's something called def component, yep. which uh, creates a component. And for now, it's just going to render some hiccup. Mm -hmm. Div page. Div Want page? the surface as well? Yeah, let's take the surface as well. Div. So we can see something change. Surface. Surge phase? Surge phase. Yes, that's yeah. part of horror. And uh, we'll add a skyline as well. Okay, cool. Skylinge. Sky <laughs> Skylinge. <laughs> okay, so my suggestion now is before we, because render is now not called. No. We can do uh, just a call to render here. Mm -hmm. Or we can add it to the callback in the dev. Maybe? Yeah, that would be better because then we'll 
button, have it re-render every, every time we change any of the front-end code. Yeah, and then we can actually use this. So I, I don't really think we need this message. It served its purpose. Greeting zombies, <laughs> we're done with that. Yeah. It's time to punch them now. Yeah, yeah, of course. So render something, something. So I, I'm just going to do this for plumbing for now. Uh, okay. So we'll pass some data through. We don't have any data at this point, but we will eventually. Okay. Maybe. Okay. You know, I, I, think I, I regret it. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. I hate myself. <laughs> okay. Would you look at that? There's a very tiny <laughs> the <world's> warning. Tiny. <laughs> it says uh, uh, wrong number of args. I didn't save it. Yeah. Yeah. Try saving it. I did save it. I'd save the files in the wrong order. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look, there's the skyline. There's the skyline. Pretty cool. Um, let's add some buildings. Buildings, sure. Yeah. So, okay. So, uh, it says uh, zombies. I don't have those. No, but there's a skyline down there. Uh, take a look at the next yeah. heading. Aha. If we go down and check out. The, mm -hmm. ah. Here are oh, the buildings. So there are five buildings. 15, 16. Building, and then I'll say, div. okay. I'll use this. <laughs> Try using some code. <laughs> uh, okay. So, I was going to use a macro, but okay, whatever. Do four. Four, uh, I, and then we'll have a range, 15. 16. It's not inclusive on the top end. Uh -huh. And then you want the div building on the inside of the four. Div building, mm -hmm. class, and then stir building number. I. I. Yeah, and remove the building on top there. Aha, uh -huh. mm -hmm. sure. Cool. Save it. Save it, and then nothing happened. Why didn't it? Why oh. didn't it run? Oh. I was too impatient. You were too impatient. Is this a building? That is certainly a building. <laughs> it's a circular building. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. So we have a bunch of buildings and a skyline. This looks like a good stage for some zombies. If I ever saw one. I agree. Let's do that next time. Next time. Yeah. Sure. This is certainly worthy worthy of a uh, commit. Yeah, I think. So, yeah, this is some stuff. Uh, now you have to be careful so you don't. Yeah, uh, add we don't really want to do this. There's nothing worth keeping in dev resources public. I think I agree. So we'll just ignore it, and we'll add this one, this one, this one, this one. Mm, perfect. Episode two. It's DOS. It's episode DOS. Yeah, sorry. Episode DOS. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, um, next time. Zombies. Zombies. Finally. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.